I put the camera on, are you joking? Hi everyone, welcome back to my uh, YouTube channel. My name is Emma, these are my allotment diaries. If you are new to my channel and you love allotment gardening or gardening in general, so sorry you're wobbling a little bit, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. Um, I am vlogging from inside my shed, you might have noticed, um, because I don't normally vlog from in my shed. It is a spider infested place and it's very, very messy. It does need to be sorted out sooner rather than later. It's a job for the future, guys, and I will get round to it, I promise. I am here today. It's actually a really nice day. It's the hottest day of the year so far in London, so I think it's like nearly 18 degrees, but it's just so, so windy. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be able to vlog outside of the shed. But today I'm going to plant my potatoes. So I'm, I'm whacking in one of my main crops and I'm just doing one of the main crops that I brought. Oh my gosh, the wind. <laughs> if I don't blow away, that is. Um, I'm just doing one because my other potato bed at the back of the plot is not finished yet. And I need to dig that out and try and sort that out. So I might try and do that today as well. But I am gonna plant out my main crop potato at the front of the plot. And that's the plan for today. So let's get going guys, let's do it. It's quite busy here today as well. I think most people here know that I vlog now and they know I've got a YouTube channel but I think some people don't so I feel a little bit weird with the camera but I'm gonna give it a go let's just do this come on <laughs> you think I'll be used to it by now but I'm really not <laughs> obviously I've lost my shovel so I'm just sort of trying to try and walk around casually like I'm looking at stuff but I'm actually trying to look for my shovel so if you are a watcher of my vlogs and you you're, this is your allotment site if you ever see me walking around clueless I've lost something lost my shovel or my scissors or something <laughs> there it is so this is the bed where my main crop potatoes are going to go this is the bed where my early potatoes are in you might have seen the vlog where i was planting these out and um look they're all coming up so so beautifully just every single one that i planted i can't believe it so these will be ready to earth up soon i know you don't necessarily have to earth up all types of potatoes some potatoes don't need earthing up i think it's determinate and interdeterminate but i get confused with all that so i just um i just earth them all up <laughs> and then i know that i've got it right i mean 50 percent of what i plant will probably be right so this isn't a how-to channel it's a what i do channel and this is what i'm doing um i just do the same thing to all my potatoes they will be earthed up even though they're rockets and you probably don't need to i'm still going to earth them up so it's just just how i roll here right okay so we need to weed this bed first compost is actually pretty good in here it's actually very very good so we're going to just weed it out and um, then start digging our trenches the same way that we did that lot over there there's no discrimination at this plot every potato is treated the same <laughs> better than I thought it would be in this bed. This bed has sort of been brassicas, it's been brassica city for about three years in a row. I've grown my brassicas in here. Before that I had strawberries but it has been topped up quite a lot and it's no dig beds. So it's had the cardboard and then the manure, the leaf mulch, the compost. It's actually excellent, excellent conditioned soil so I'm really happy about that. It's just rich, it's a lovely colour. You um, scrunch it like this and then it comes apart really easily, like it's just absolutely fantastic which is actually slightly annoying because because potatoes are actually quite good at improving soil and um, because they grow under the ground into tubers they kind of break the soil up some people disagree with that and say it's not true but that's what I've heard anyway and um, but this soil's already good so <laughs> hopefully the potatoes will just grow really well in here right let's dig our trenches out same as before Right, this is the variety I'm growing, Desiree. It's a main crop potato. They're kind of pinky whitey. Um, I've, I've grown them before and they've grown really, really well. They were £4.30 for a um, 1.5 kilograms. I think I got it from B&Q to be honest. Um, but you can pick these up anywhere and you can pick them up now even, they still sell them. So in they go. I reckon one, two, three, four. I reckon four per trench. That is four, eight, 12 because i've got three trenches here i think that'd be plenty and then hopefully it'll make more i mean that's the point it'll make more you put a potato in the ground and it grows more potatoes 
I mean, if I just put one in and grew one, I don't see what the point of that would be, would it? So hopefully, hopefully we'll get more than one potato, but you never know. Right, let's whack them in. Right, I didn't chit these. Chitting them is when you leave them on a sunny windowsill. I didn't bother, but I have left them for a while and they weren't in the dark and they have sort of chitted anyway. So you see these little bits here, this is the foliage starting to grow. So that's the way up up at the potato. But what I'll probably do is knock a couple of them off. You don't have to do that. But I like just to have like a good growing bit like that. And we'll just whack them in that way up. That's it. Boom. First one in. So there's the spacing, four, four, four. So we've got 12 of them. They're about, ooh, probably not as far apart as they're supposed to be, but who knows, they're about the width of my hand. So if you've ever seen me in real life and you sort of know what that is, that's how far apart they are. <laughs> like I said, not a how-to vlog, just a what I'm doing vlog, okay? <laughs> Bear that in mind. Right, we're gonna cover them half, halfway with that mound of dirt now. That mound of earth that we made, we just half of it just so they're just covered just so they're just covered like that and then what we'll do is when they start to grow through the ground quite well we'll use the other half to earth them up and cover them again there you are. and I'll show you that when we come to do it in a few weeks time Right, that is officially my main crop, Desiree potatoes in the ground. Will they grow? Probably actually, because the early ones did. So I reckon they'll grow, grow fine actually. Um, so what we've done is we've just left the ditches. So they've still got ditches. Um, no, not ditches, like, what's the opposite of a ditch? A mound, a mound. They've still got a mound next to them. So when it comes to earthing them up, I can just pull down some more of the soil. But if I run out of soil, I'll just throw a bag of compost over it or something, or some hay or some uh, shredded paper. It's just about keeping the potatoes away from the sunlight and the deeper you bury them, the less chance they've got of hitting the sunlight and going green. And also I think the more potatoes you get because you, you bury them deeper and they create more potatoes. So I think actually that's just a think. I don't actually know that, I just made that up. Um, but it might be true. Who's to say it's not true? That's what we'll do. And I'll come back to that later. I'm gonna earth these ones up, not today. I think I'm gonna let them grow a little bit more because they are starting to grow very, very nicely, but I think I'm gonna let them get a little bit bigger, a little bit more foliage, and then we'll cover them over a little bit more. Um, and like I said, you don't have to do it with earlies, and especially rockets, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just because it's fun. What else have I got to do? Do you know what I mean? So I'm just gonna do the same. Like, like, like I said, all potatoes at my plot are treated equally. Um, it doesn't matter what they are. So there we go, right, potatoes in. about four or five parakeets in my tree up there. Four or five of them illegally congregating in my tree. I have to say, I'm not a fan of the parakeets at all, are you? I find them so noisy and like annoying. They're really pretty, they're bright green, but. <sighs> I really can't find my scissors and it's really bothering me now. <sighs> they're really good scissors as well. I don't remember where I was last using them. Like I can't think what I was cutting. I don't think I've cut anything really. Right, can't find my scissors anywhere. It's really annoying me now. So I'm just gonna use a saw. Um, I actually brought some more twine. I brought this twine from B&Q, which is more like the plasticky twine. The other twine I've been using on everything, I don't think it's very good because it's been snapping so easily. So I brought this one instead, which has always served me quite well. It's actually still 
usable on the pumpkin archway. I'm still cutting bits off of it from like three years ago and still using it. So I think it's worth getting some better quality twine. Um, what I'm gonna do is twine up these structures here. So in here I have planted, I think, I think this is an elderberry and I think these are raspberries and I've got these sort of structures in, so the, the tree things. And then the idea was, was to twine across it so they've got something to grow up and I can kind of keep them under control. That's the plan anyway. I mean, I don't know if they need that kind of structure, but that's the structure I'm going to give them. Like I said, it's not a how-to, it's a what I'm doing, this is what I'm doing. I just feel like it's going to make it look better, make me feel more in control. We're just going to do it because that was the plan and I don't like veering from the plan. You know me and my plans. You know me and my plans. I do love to stick to the plan as best I can. Now that I'm doing it, I'm not sure if this is necessary, but I'm just going to continue now because I started so I'll finish. Like they always say on Mastermind, started so I'll finish. I was brought up on that, so I can't, you know, not, not finish it. I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to keep going and hope it doesn't look too weird. It's got to hope it doesn't look weird and that in the end it looks alright. Do you know what I mean? help me help me <laughs> the structure is falling down as I'm doing this and I've got people sort of watching what I'm doing from other plots and it's falling down and I'm carrying on pretending that it's not falling down but it's actually falling down um, and now it's just a mess <laughs> bloody hell why does this always happen to me it's gone all like loose in the middle so what I'm gonna have to try and do is secure that in a bit more because that's falling out but I've got to do it in a way that doesn't look like that's what I'm doing because I don't want people watching to think that this is going wrong even though it is going wrong I want them to think this is just part of it <laughs> this is part of the plan Crikey, wait till they see me cut this twine with a bloody saw <laughs> they're going to think I'm a nutter now oh, we might as well carry on, come on <laughs> run away and leave it let's just run away the issue is as I'm pulling the twine across see it's not tight at all because it's pulling these out of the ground so it's just a blooming nightmare the whole thing's a nightmare that's not going to work as a structure at all so I need to think of a new structure idea just want to contain them really and have them growing up a structure so that it's more containable and it's more like basically you see I've got these little pathways in here the idea is that you can walk down the, down the pathway and then sort of have it there to pick and then I'm walking into I'm walking into a tree now but people are watching me do this and I can't I just have to act like I've not walked into a tree this is really awkward right um, but you see the pathways the idea is to walk down the pathways and then pick what's there pick what's there but these structures are not working so all I need to do is put in a new structurally sound structure so any structural engineers out there let me know um, how do I make like a, a square structure that's what I want it's poked my blooming ear out now on the tree right we need this is a nightmare this is a nightmare I'm so awkward at doing this in public I told you this is a nightmare I've walked into a tree I've destroyed the structure I've had to carry on like nothing's happened <sighs> Why am I doing this with my life? Why is this my life? <laughs> right, I've come into the shed just for, for a respite. <laughs> just to try and save face a little bit, you know? That was an absolute nightmare. And with loads of people watching. And I don't mean that they're watching like they're judging or anything. It's just me. It's me. It's all in my head. I get awkward. 
um, and then when things go wrong I don't feel like I can go oh that went wrong and kick it down I feel like I have to continue like it's gone right but that didn't go right that did not go right at all <laughs> oh okay right that's fine that's fine oh another thing that's not worked is the peas um in the guttering let me explain why so i planted these peas in this guttering do you remember when i did all the little peas in there i didn't put any drainage holes in so what's happened is they've just all rotted so i'm growing some more peas at home i'm going to transplant them into this with drainage holes this time and I'm going to grow them for a bit and then I'm going to transplant them out and that's what I'm going to do but but this is just not worked at all that's a nightmare that is it's also getting really windy I have said it before I think I said it in my last vlog last week that the wind is just the worst the worst weather at an allotment plot it just blows everything everywhere it destroys everything nothing destroys a garden quicker than the wind um, and I don't really want to be impaled by something as well it's always a concern there was another job I needed to do, but I don't know what it is. I can't remember now. I'm all flustered, I'm all flustered from my little, you know, experimenting. Oh, I think it's the pond. Yeah, I need to get some more of that um, pond weed out because it's just multiplying like no tomorrow. So we've got our waterproof gloves somewhere. Oh, there they are. These are just from Cool Job. You know I go on about these all the time. They sponsor me and they always give me free gloves, um, which is so nice of them. But these are fantastic, these ones. These are waterproof. So I can just put my hand straight in the water with these and pull all the, all the pond weed out. So let's go and do that because I know what I'm doing with that. I don't feel like an idiot, you know. hoping for tadpoles and frogs in here that's why I got a pond in the first place I thought all the frogs could um could eat all the snails and all the snails and slugs but all I've got in here is snails yeah there he is look that that there that's a little snail he's just under the water you probably can't see him but there's snail there's loads of snails in here which is like ridiculous because the reason I got it was for frogs to eat the snails and all I've got in here is snails just snail. All I can attract to my plot is snails and, and Einstein, but he doesn't eat the snails, he just eats the mealworms I put out, so snails. Just growing for the snails now, aren't I? <laughs> I think that's it from me today because it's getting very very windy now so I think I'm going to call it a day there hopefully I'll be able to show my face here again if I haven't embarrassed myself too much <laughs> I'm sure nobody was looking at me no one was watching me but I just have this feeling that they are <laughs> anyway we did what we did that's what I did at my allotment plot today if you enjoyed it do subscribe to my channel and I will see you again in my next vlog on Wednesday see you Wednesday happy gardening bye